guys, so today I'm just going to be answering some questions that you guys sent me. So here's the first question. I would say thinking about my future, thinking about what my future entails, you know, I plan on having a family of course, I plan on finishing my education and getting a job and being successful, you know, my whole life up until now, I've been working for the future. And I guess that would be what makes me live and what makes me do what I do is the future. Five years, I see myself done with school. Um, I'm probably going to study for the CPA exam and apply for my CPA license and um, hopefully become a CPA and be able to work for a firm. You know, that's when I'll start figuring things out. If I just want to be working alone or in a firm or what kind of accounting I want to do, that sort of thing. I don't, I don't know if I'll be married. I kind of want to be. But at the same time, I kind of want to be married when I'm done with everything. When everything's kind of planned out and it's all been accomplished. And then I can be married and have everything already and not have to worry about it. Ten years, hopefully married by then. <laughs> and maybe a kid. Still working. Um, I'd like to be a partner with a firm. I don't know how old I would have to be to do that, but I don't like that. Everyone has that moment in their life that they wish that they could change. I mean, I can think of one right now that just happened recently. I don't necessarily regret it because I feel like everything will take its course and everything if it's supposed to happen it'll happen I have mistakes that I know that I've made but I don't regret them because they've brought me where I am now and it's not necessarily a bad place it would be that I like sucked my thumb until I was like seven <laughs> Because, I don't know why I did it. I mean, well, kids suck their thumbs because it's like, it makes them feel safe. And I just did it until I was older, but I finally stopped. So it's not like I'm sucking my thumb now. <laughs> I would say that there's two of them. And they are me moving here from Canada. I moved here when I was five. And I feel like if I hadn't moved here... I wouldn't be doing as much like I it's not a diss in Canada or where I grew up or anything but I feel like being here in California has motivated me more to do more I feel like I'm not a small town person I'm a city person and so that really changed me and then another one would be when I decided to go to middle college I don't think I would be going to Santa Clara University. I don't think I would have learned as much in high school. I would probably be at San Jose State. And I just, I don't feel like I would have reached my potential if I hadn't gone to middle college. And I feel by going to middle college, I have, and that I'm probably gonna have a more successful future. Oh gosh. Working at Baskin Robbins, I've had so many favorite flavors, and because it's so it's hard to choose one, so it depends on what mood I'm in. But I would say rainbow sherbet, because I love love tangy flavors, and rainbow sherbet's delicious, and I've loved it since I was a kid. If I go to Baskin Robbins and I don't know what I'm gonna get, I'll get rainbow sherbet. I'm gonna go with the typical answer, which is. I wouldn't really change anything. I feel like I'm in a good place. I feel like I've become a good person and I've really matured a lot. And I feel like everything that's happened to me since then and 
everything about myself, you know, I'm that way for a reason, and I like being this way, and even though I've had tough moments in my life and I've had tough decisions, I feel like I've learned from all of them, and in the end, whatever, whatever I've done has been better for me. Thank you to the three people who sent me questions, and I hope you enjoyed my answers. I hope you guys had a good day, and I will catch you later.